the gospel may be divided into two parts. The first part of the gospel is the dialogue between the virgin and the angel. Please notice, all the questions of the virgin were answered by the angel. All the confusion of the young girl was answered by the angel. All the puzzles, all the mysteries in the mind of Mary were answered by the angel. The second half of the gospel is only one sentence. And what is it? Then the angel departed from her. After the angel departed from her, there were still many questions with Mary, but there were no more answers. After the angel departed from her, there were still confusions, there were still anxieties, there were still puzzles that Mary could not understand. But the angel was not there anymore to answer her questions. Isn't that our life? Sometimes when we pray, the answer is given right away. You pray for a job, the job is given. You pray for a wife, the wife is given. You pray for health and you get well. You pray for the children to finish school and they finish school. You pray for safety and safety is given. You pray for sunshine on your birthday and the sunshine is given. But life is not always like that, isn't it? Because there are days in our life when we pray and nobody seems to answer. When we pray for health and the sickness worsens. When we pray for a job and money runs out. When we pray for faithfulness and you are betrayed. When you pray for health and then you get another sickness. When you pray for success and you are defeated one after another. And then you start to ask questions like, Am I a born loser? Is God deaf? Does God not care about me anymore? Alam natin ito. Tonight, we will celebrate Christmas. But I hope you are aware that we have brothers and sisters who are keeping awake because their relative is dead and they're keeping watch and they will be crying tonight. We will celebrate tonight good food, songs, but I hope you are aware, you're aware that the hospital is still full and there are families living in anxiety because their loved one is at the brink of death. We will celebrate today, but I hope you realize that we have many relatives working in the Middle East, working in Italy, scrubbing the floor on Christmas Day, driving the bus, keeping security for malls. And they will celebrate Christmas also. And for them, it might not be as happy as ours, but Christmas is for them too. In other words, brothers and sisters, a few hours before Christmas, what I want to say to all of you is this. When there is sunshine, God is with us. But when darkness is long, God is with us. When we are healthy and well, God is with us. When we are weak and sick, God is with us. When we are successful and we are champions, God is with us. When we are defeated and forgotten, God is with us. When a new baby is born, God is with us. When a loved one dies, God is with us. When we are able to celebrate, God is with us. When we are prevented by the jail, by sickness, God is with us. In other words, 
it is very easy to understand that God is with us when we are successful, when we are young, when we are wealthy, when we are living comfortable lives. But God is with us in failure, in defeat, in darkness, in confusion. God is with us. The name of God is Emmanuel. I am always with you. When God comes to us in sunshine, we say, Thank you, Lord. But when the darkness is too long, we still say, Thank you, Lord. When God comes to us in health, we say, Thank you, Lord. But when sickness visits us and is threatening our lives, we still dare to say in faith, Thank you, Lord. When the angel answers all our questions, we say, Thank you, Lord. But when the angel departs from us and no one can answer our questions anymore, we still say, Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, God is with us 24-7. Even if we are not always with Him, God is with us. And He will never leave us because of love.